Let's talk about why your silk PLA prints just don't turn out very good. We're gonna go through some settings and hopefully this will help take your prints from something that looks like this to something that looks like this. Let's jump right in. Let's try to highlight some of those issues we're running into. So we have some banding that starts about at this layer here, runs all the way through our cutout to right here. Um, it's gotta be something to do with print speed and cooling and layer time, if we just break that down to the, the basics. And then what we have here is these, this section of the print and this section of the print. The top half looks really good. It's shiny, uh, super smooth, looks like a silk PLA should. This bottom half is a little more dull and matte. So tells me a couple things, um, probably something heat related here. So let's go and adjust these settings to fix or improve this print as much as we can. Starting off, come back over to prepare. We're gonna go to our PLA basic, which is our standard settings that we printed that first copy on. And we're gonna make some very simple adjustments that'll hopefully make big improvements. So first thing we're gonna do is just edit this. We're gonna create a new filament profile and we're gonna come down to our basic filament and adjust our nozzle. So our nozzle here, uh, 220 on the first layer, 220 on all layers after that. That's a little bit hot. And typically just if you're not running a, a bamboo printer, you don't see these really high temperatures, but typically they run a little bit hot. Um, I'm gonna adjust this down to 215, which I was able to run a temperature tower for this filament. And I know 215 is the sweet spot. If you have not run a temperature tower for your filament, like you need to do that. So up here, I've got a link for setting up a temperature tower. Go ahead, go do that. It takes just a few minutes, uh, maybe 30 minutes to an hour to print and you should be good. Okay, so we've got our nozzle, uh, initial layer and all other layers are gonna be set to 215. And most of what we're looking at here is going to essentially stay the same. Um, the other thing we're looking at is cooling. We're gonna turn off a lot of our cooling. So I'm gonna go no cooling on the first two layers just give me a little bit better bed adhesion. Um, I do that standard for almost all filaments. And then I'm going to adjust our total cooling down here. Um, and we're gonna put this to 40%. So we want less cooling. When we have a lot of cooling, it's going to make your prints look dull or matte. And so we want those temperatures to cool at a slower rate. And so adjusting these down 40% uh, is a good place to start. If you are getting a lot of stringing, um, you can come in and bump this up to 45. If you're getting more string, if you're still getting stringing, go to 50 and then kind of play with these settings here. It's a good way to incrementally kind of dial in what the settings need to be. And then I'm gonna leave all other settings the same. I want my overhangs still to be cooling down. Um, we wanna not sacrifice the, the overall stability or quality of the print just on those overhangs. And now I'm just gonna name this and save it. All right, now that it's saved, uh, you can see that it's shifted over here. We're gonna go through a few other settings that we need to be aware of. The first one is actually going to be the layer height and then our line width. So layer height, I've found that printing at 0.2 or 0.24 are going to give you better results. So on this print, I'm gonna print at this next one at 0.24 and we can see kind of what the difference looks like in there. Once we have our layer height, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna adjust our line width. And so my recommendation for the default is to go to 0.48 or 0.52. Um, both of those would be acceptable. In this case, I am gonna just try 0.48 for this one for the default and set our outer walls as well to 0.48. Um, inner walls, everything else can stay the same. If, as long as we're bumping this up a little bit, we should get a little bit better layer and wall adhesion. The very last thing I'll talk about, and this is usually what makes the biggest difference for any 3D print is the speed. So anytime I am running silk PLA, I slow down a lot. So you'll notice like the standards 175 here. I'm gonna actually drop that way down to about 40. And I'm going to drop my inner walls to 50. And infill, not really worried about infill. You can keep those turned up. And top surfaces, 
going to drop those down to 30. Um, and that should give me some pretty good results. Hopefully that'll fix some of these issues we're running into where we're getting that banding on this print. The last thing I'm going to quickly double check is just our strength. Three wall loops, looks great. Uh, four top layers, four bottom layers, 10% uh, and I'm running adaptive cubic. Those are all my standards. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this plate. Now that we have this plate slice, uh, it's gonna take an hour and 27 minutes. For reference, that's uh, the first print took 57 minutes to complete. We're uh, 36 grams of filament. So once we, we have this printed, I'm gonna show you the results and compare them side by side. So you'll be able to see um, how these settings work and if they're gonna work for you. Now that we've got both of these prints finished up, here's the original. As you can see, some banding issues. It's just not as high quality. It's still okay, just not great. And in comparison, turned out okay. Um, this version definitely has much higher gloss, has that same like silk finish you're looking for. It looks like we did run into a little issue there. Not sure what happened there. Um, but the banding, you're still gonna get that unless I were to go in and change the layer speed, but it's definitely way less visible and the overall quality is way higher. Thanks for sticking around to the end. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave us a comment down below. I'll try to get to those as quickly as possible. And if uh, you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.